that uh, across uh, the Eurozone countries. Uh, it was a raise by 11,7% uh, uh, unemployment rate, it, it was 11,7%, uh, but in uh, 27 European countries it was 10,7%. Uh, uh, it was, uh, I'm, going, uh, I'm talking about uh, statistical data um, before, uh, uh, collected before two or three months ago. It is the recent data. But what is the problem? Uh, we can expect that uh, uh, employment, unemployment rate in uh, Eurozone will be increased uh, by, uh, from 11,7% uh, uh, in uh, 2012 to 12,5% uh, 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 in early 2014. Uh, in other words, we can expect uh, uh, increasing uh, and uh, this trend to be continued. And, uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, but uh, this uh, problem is not the same uh, for all countries, of course. We can uh, conclude that some of them uh, achieved uh, full employment, like Austria, for example. Uh, Austria has uh, the lowest uh, unemployment rate. Uh, it is 4,3%. Uh, we know that uh, uh, full employment is not a zero employment. And we can uh, trade uh, one number on friction unemployment uh, between 4 to 7%. And uh, according to this, uh, 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 this methodology, we can conclude that Austria uh, reached full employment, also German, and uh, uh, Luxembourg with 5,3% uh, uh, of employment rate, and uh, uh, Holland with 5,8%. Uh, but on the other side, we have a problem uh, with Spain and with Greece. Uh, Greece uh, uh, has, uh, or was recorded, the highest uh, employment uh, rate in Eurozone with uh, about 12% uh, uh, unemployment rate and uh, uh, Spain 12,1%. Uh, uh, it is pretty high. Pardon, 27 and 21,6%. Uh, and it is, uh, it is a very, very big problem. And uh, uh, as I mentioned, that uh, people uh, who stay without job cannot easily find another. And therefore, in uh, uh, European Union uh, uh, strategy, employment issues and aging populations, uh, populations are priority and they are fo focused in their uh, strategy within strategy 2012. Uh, but uh, uh, it is not easy uh, to solve that problem uh, in some countries because we can notice uh, a certain stereotypes linked uh, especially to elderly people. Uh, I can mention only some of them. Uh, we can find in theory and the literature that uh, uh, people, uh, uh, older people, are less uh, uh, motivated in uh, learning new skills and uh, to improve their knowledge, of course, and uh, they have uh, less abilities, mental and physical, uh, and they are less prepared to respond to the demand in the workplace. And also, some of them <coughs> have low qualification, and therefore can uh, easily can got, uh, can got, uh, uh, find another job. Some of uh, uh, scientists think that they are experienced workers and that they require uh, higher wages, and that is the, another problem why they cannot easily find a job. But in any case, these stereotypes uh, uh, make a negative impact on uh, elderly people. Uh, firstly, uh, in the context uh, that they cannot, uh, they are working uh, in very poor uh, working conditions and that they uh, cannot access easy the job and uh, uh, they cannot uh, earn enough or equally as uh, younger segment of labor force uh, and that uh, have not enough opportunities uh, 
to be promoted in the workplace and so on. <coughs> there are a lot of uh, negative uh, consequences. But uh, uh, these stereotypes we cannot uh, accept as valid arguments. Why? Because healthy older people, they are very useful resource and they can contribute not only to their families and to, to their communities as well, but as well to the societies or economies of countries, other countries, and also some of them maybe to be entrepreneur, to start uh, uh, own business or to work for others. Uh, there are different motives uh, amongst uh, the older people. But uh, in any case, what is the common for all of them? All of them like to work as long uh, as they are possible or they are able to work, to stay in workplace. And therefore we must uh, offer them some opportunity to, feel, to be active and to feel fulfilled, uh, to feel uh, good that they are active in uh, later uh, older ages. And <clears throat> firstly it is important uh, one new model to be found that will be uh, need uh, and satisfy the needs uh, that other people uh, uh, for other people to, uh, to be employed uh, and uh, there are a lot of preconditions uh, 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 some of them I mentioned in my model uh, I I'd like to show you that model this is my own model uh, which I named uh, uh, the communicating uh, vessels model why communicating vessels model? Because each part of this model are very closely interconnected and they act uh, uh, together and uh, produce opportunity for, for equal opportunities for all uh, regardless uh, uh, gender and uh, uh, age. Uh, <clears throat> what are the preconditions? I tried to evolve all of them. Firstly, we know that uh, 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 it is necessary some training uh, curriculum, uh, special third for uh, all the workers. And uh, what are the results of that? The result of that is decreasing uh, the shortage of the skills. Uh, and uh, on the other side, uh, uh, we can fit, uh, uh, fit between uh, uh, workers' competitiveness and the job. It is very important. And also, uh, training curriculum uh, for all the workers uh, uh, make an impact on encouraging creative skills. Uh, creative skills on one side, uh, uh, fostering uh, business startups is very important for opening new jobs. And on the other side, it's providing uh, opportunities for the workers to access uh, work and stay. Uh, it, uh, and uh, say the <coughs> place, and also <coughs> encouraging uh, creative skills, making impact of encouraging entrepreneurship development. Uh, what happened after the entrepreneurship development uh, fosters self-employment and on the side increasing the quality of uh, jobs and uh, working conditions for the elder people. And uh, at last, uh, uh, entrepreneurship uh, development uh, making input on uh, fostering the economic growth, uh, growth, but economic growth uh, reducing uh, unemployment uh, among older workers and uh, reducing uh, uh, poverty because we know that uh, one of the most problems amongst all people are poverty. Um, and, uh, uh, all these elements all together make an impact uh, and uh, uh, support uh, and stimulate employment of uh, elder uh, people, older people and uh, uh, give them uh, the same uh, opportunities or equal opportunities uh, to find a job, uh, jobs as uh, younger <coughs> people. But uh, in my uh, model I uh, only uh, don't like only to stimulate employment of people older than 55 years old, but I uh, like to 
point out uh, that uh, state policy can make a very important role in regulating uh, employment. Uh, some uh, scientists uh, um, share the same opinion, the most of them share the same opinion, that there is not uh, uh, the lack of uh, uh, solution uh, for uh, reducing uh, so high rate of unemployment, but there is a lack of political will. And uh, uh, most of them uh, propose that we can use uh, good practice, for example from German, uh, which uh, reduce working hours of uh, their uh, people, or their labor force, but uh, 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 Germany didn't reduce uh, their wages. Uh, it uh, uh, covered their wages uh, with, uh, uh, with their own resources. So people working uh, less than before, but uh, earn the same as before. But uh, in my opinion, uh, this uh, uh, measure, this proposal cannot be applied in the countries like Greece, Spain and other countries. Why? because there is a, a budgetary deficit and there is no sources uh, to cover this, uh, this proportion and uh, these uh, uh, wage differences. In that case, uh, it is necessary to take into account uh, other measures like uh, tax the rich people and use these revenues uh, to invest uh, in, op uh, in new uh, job openings and also uh, with fiscal, by fiscal policy and uh, new investments into infrastructure, we can uh, uh, make uh, or open uh, new new opportunities for new uh, jobs for not only for only for old people but also for <laughs> younger people too. Finally, yes, I don't like uh, to hold or to keep your time anymore. I only would like to uh, make uh, key points and, and that may conclude my presentation. Firstly, uh, uh, in my opinion, you must revise uh, existing uh, economic uh, uh, employment theory and strategy. Why? Because uh, uh, it must follow follow uh, current trends in, and changes, fast changes uh, in the labor market. And also demographic, uh, social, economical, political and other uh, 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 conditions are quite different now than there were 10 or 20 years ago. Because uh, uh, we can not use uh, some economic pol policy uh, uh, made before 10, uh, 10 years ago now and apply in, uh, in current conditions. Uh, also, uh, I, I, <clears throat> I like to propose uh, that uh, the problem of uh, uh, employment uh, is not to stress uh, and point out. The problem of full employment is a global problem and we cannot solve it uh, on the individual country level separately. It is also important and also uh, uh, new economic uh, program, new economic theories must be holistic and uh, must integrate the most important uh, good uh, uh, approaches in theory together uh, with the best uh, practice in, uh, at the global level. Thank you very much for your attention.